I don't know what I'm saying. Maybe so. I think so. I don't know. I'm just having fun, to be honest, you guys. Thank you for the compliments. But these are not questions. <laughs> This is Victoria Xavier and today I have a brand new video for you guys and if you guys notice I'm in a different location I'm in my house in Switzerland so I'm really cold this is why I'm wearing clothes finally in one of my videos but today is a different kind of video I'm gonna be answering some of your questions that you ask me on my Instagram so let's get right onto this video if you guys don't follow me on my Instagram you guys definitely should I'm Victoria has a secret if you guys enjoy this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up other than that let's get right on to this video okay all right so let's get this right on I got my second phone right here and um, let's see let's see what kind of juice we have let's get right onto my story so this was the story I posted Woo and uh, let's see how many um, questions I got. So the first one, uh, would you ever be a part-time stripper? No, I would not be a part-time stripper because I don't really know how to dance. <laughs> I need your leg gains. Yes, you do. That's why I'm going to be making a video about that soon. So you'll learn everything about that. I want to know your secret. I can't really tell my secret because it's a secret and, you know, I'm trying to keep it really low-key. <laughs> you just need to go to Bastion. I mean, I'm in Geneva, I might go there. <laughs> How many boyfriends have you had? So, three. The first one lasted two weeks, the second one lasted four years, and the third one... How did you become so confident about yourself? So I feel like I hear this all the time. Every single time I hear this, like every single girl that's been on YouTube, Instagram and all that, they always talk about how they were bullied before and like no one liked them, blah, blah. But honestly, no cap, this happened to me. So I was like, I felt like I would never get a boyfriend. I felt like I'm, the, I'm like the ugliest girl ever. And you know, people would make fun of me. But after I started posting what I wanted on Instagram and I started getting a lot of people telling me bad things and positive things, um, I started just looking at the positive part of things and looking at myself. This is who I am and this is my gift. Like maybe these imperfections that I think are so bad might be the most beautiful thing to somebody else. So this is how I look at life now. So that's what makes me confident. Everything that's negative about myself that I find negative, I always try to find the positive and that's what makes me the most confident. I hope that helped you. <laughs> but yeah, let's go to the next question. <laughs> Have you ever gotten a wedgie? Yes, I've gotten wedgies in middle school. <laughs> would you date a fan? Honestly, yes, I would. <laughs> Of course, you have a really cute dog. Thank you so much. And I miss him so much when I'm in Switzerland. So I miss Jupiter. Jupiter, if you're watching this, I love you, Jupiter. Favorite artist. Honestly, it, that's so hard because there's so many talented artists out there that it's really hard just to pick one. There's just way too much. I don't have a favorite one. I'm sorry. Someone's vibe or someone's look. I love this question because a lot of people think that it's all about the vibes but no because your eyes attract things first like you're gonna first look at something that's the most beautiful and then you're gonna see about the vibes so for me the first thing that always comes first is the visual first it has to attract me like with my eyes i have to be attracted to it and then i see the vibe in it if it's good or bad and then i decide so i feel like it's both but it comes in order are you in a relationship yes i am with my baby jupiter we're best friends <laughs> someone give me their number so let me just share it 512-66 i want to know everything i can't really tell you everything what do you do for a living well i used to work in a 
store. If you guys want to know more about this, then comment down below and I could do a story time about my first job and the experience of it and you guys can find out where I actually worked and for how long and like all that stuff. If you guys want to know any story times, comment down below and let me know. But yes, I used to work in a store, then I quit and now I'm doing full time just online, Instagram, YouTube and all that fun stuff. Actually, the stuff that I love to do the most. What are you doing in Geneva? Well, I, I was born in Switzerland, so I just came here because my dad and my brother live here, so I came to say hi. Your last name is Xavier, where did that come from? So my dad is from Brazil, so I'm half Swiss and half Brazilian, and my dad's last name is Xavier, so that's how I got my last name. Come to Chicago, I would love to come to Chicago, I would love to visit everyone in the world if I could, and I will one day. How tall are you? I'm 5'7". Okay, next question. You ever thought about making porn? That's a good question. Um, no, I actually never thought about making it because I have other plans in my head since I was like 13. So many different goals. And yes, I love my body. Yes, I share my body online. But I don't like to go all the way to that point. That for me is very private, so I would not like to get filmed doing that. So yeah, I would not see myself doing it. So no, <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Why did you have to move out so suddenly and how come you have no one to help you? So if you guys did see my Instagram, uh, a couple weeks ago, I had really bad problems uh, with my family and my mom's side. So uh, if you guys want to know more about my life, more deep inside, if you guys want me to make a video about from where I started since I was born until now, I would be super glad to make this video for you guys. So if you guys are interested in watching a video like that, make sure you comment down below and let me know. How did you get the Boutine LA job? So when I first moved to the US, I started working with this company called Boutine LA. And the only reason how I got with them was them contacting me through my Instagram. And I would always post pictures and videos with their bikinis. And one day they just noticed me, they saw my Instagram profile, and then they messaged me to come into the studio. And when I went to the studio, they really liked the pictures they took of me, and they posted me on the page, and that's what happened. So yeah, I'm really grateful for everything that happened since I got to the US. But now I'm back in Switzerland. It's been a year since I haven't gone back. So now I'm back. And I think that's the end of all the questions I have for you guys. If you guys do want me to make other videos, like story time videos and other stuff like that, make sure to comment down below. Let me know what kind of topic you guys would like me to talk about. So this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And comment down below, let me know which kind of videos you guys would like me to talk about or see next. And other than that, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any more of my videos. And other than that, I'll see you guys in my next video. Next Sunday. Peace.